I remain convinced that uh, the decision to select uh, Guantanamo was a bad decision. It was the wrong decision. Uh, you have done the state? Well, I would have probably ignored the advice of the lawyers and brought them to the United States. Hmm. If I mean, if it was that serious, I would have done a better. I would have insisted on a better job of screening in Afghanistan. And I think that any decision that I made would have kept foremost in our mind what we claim to stand for as this country and how, how not how we would be judged that day, but how history, uh, our our children and our grandchildren, and the uh, and the world will judge us in a uh, hundred years. Uh, you know, one can say that you know the uh, the immediacy of the moment, the needs of the uh, of this country uh, uh, trumped uh, the Constitution, trumped uh, what we claim to say as our 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 most important uh, values as as Americans. Uh, I I would push back on that. I would say that uh, in our darkest hour, that's when we really need to remind ourselves who we are and what we claim to be. And uh, you can call them aspirational goals uh, or anything, or pie in the sky, but I think ultimately uh, the thing that has made this nation singular are those uh, difficult and undefinable goals that cause people to try to be better than they would, than their human nature would normally cause them to be. Uh, and so for that reason, I think that uh, that history is probably not going to judge us well on Guantanamo. And I hope that perhaps one of some of the things that you're doing here, that those lessons that, that we take away from this will guide us the next time that our nation is put at risk.